Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're actually gonna build a project in the shop today. Uh, it's a relatively uh, simple little project um, that you know, may, I may have complicated things a little bit more than, um, but just trying to uh, work on my CNC skills and working with the software um, and getting stuff into from idea to uh, software to production to building it. So um, <clears throat> I had a request um, for the house here that um, they wanted a, um, a chickadee house. So we did some looking into a uh, chickadee bird house um, and then you know specifically what do they want and we did some checking and with the, the the chickadees that live in our area and kind of sizing that they want and um, stuff like that um, this is what I came up with so we've got this little fairly simple uh, the one thing is that they they just got to be really specific on the hole size um, so that squirrels can't get in to, to in here to um, get at the, the babies or the eggs or whatever they may whatever squirrels squirrels will go after anything so um, but the one thing that um, we wanted to do was actually do you know how do we do a Wi-Fi enabled or some type of a camera in there so what I did and I wanted to get a car so the roof here is actually hinged on the other side so I can hinge this up and then what I did is I picked up off of an Amazon one of the uh, blink blink cameras the wireless cameras um, that hooks up to the Wi-Fi here at the house and then it um, it's these are kind of nice they got a two-year battery life on them and then they're just a lithium uh, AA battery they really last a long time depending on how much are they're up to two years you have to pay for services and stuff if you want to get a whole lot of stuff but um, so yeah so let's I'm gonna take this thing and show you how we built it and some of the different parts that I thought were important in doing this. All right, so we've got the parts cut out on the CNC. Uh, one of the things you're gonna notice is I ended up having two files and I'm not 100% sure why it loaded in two files. I ended up getting in the reverse order. So it should have cut out the dados first and all my holes and then cut out my parts. Now I did have tabs on this and um, it held stuff pretty well. There was the, uh, the, the, the where the uh, nest is gonna sit, that one did, that one actually broke loose just because there was a lot more uh, drilling going on in that. Not surprised, um, it kind of got messed up, but um, not a big deal overall um, in, in this, we're not, um, we're not finishing out a cabinet or doing some stuff. But one of the things when uh, working on this is for the chickadee house is, um, and you can see when we're cutting it out. So we've got a small hole here and they, they say to make that about an inch and an eighth for at least an area of the ones that we had. And then I've got a little groove in here and that's so that they have something to like climb up and down on. So because the actual uh, nest sits down about here. And when we start assembling it, you'll see that. Um, so I've got uh, the nest there. And actually it's, it's this piece here. If you look closely, these holes are not even. Uh, and that was because a piece broke loose on me. So we've got that there to allow any drainage. You know, if there's something in there, any water, so that we don't have water standing in in the nest and it allows it to drain down. And then the bottom is uh, full and then there's about an inch between. That keeps it any, any uh, keeps some of the wind from coming out from underneath. Uh, we're not sealing this. I mean, we're not uh, putting in a conditioned space for them <laughs> by any means, but this would seal off most of the uh, um, stuff for weather. And then on the top piece that goes in, um, I did this. So this is based on this will sit up here and this part will be removable. Uh, let me grab one of the dados here. 
So this is one of the side pieces, and there's three different dados in there. One that accepts the base, one that accepts where the nest is gonna sit, and the top one is up here. This one's removable. When you open up the lid, that's removable, and I can just take that out. So if I wanna get down into the nest, uh, for whatever reason, it needs something happened or whatever, uh, we can get in there. But when this is all sealed up and the, the, uh, the camera is up there and everything going, we shouldn't ever have to go back in there, but, without, but I didn't want to disassemble it. So we could leave this screwed up on the uh, side of a fence or a tree or wherever we're going to mount this. Um, and then if I needed to get to the camera, I could access the camera and I can get actually down into the nest if we need to. Um, so yeah. And then the roof is just um, two pieces with a hinge on it. So relatively simple structure overall. Um, let me, I'll grab a tape measure here and I'll give you some um, overall dimensions. So this is approximately six inches by six inches uh, across. And then overall, this is about 50, just shy at 14 and three quarters is from peak to here. Um, I kept the hole up it there at the top. Um, other than that, it's pretty, I mean, could I have done this on a table saw and done it all out there? Absolutely. Uh, part of why I wanted to do this project was to learn software, learn tooling, and start honing my skills with the CNC. So um, let's get this thing assembled, and I'll kind of bring you in after I've assembled part of it and, and take a look at it. All right, now, so I've got the back, and I'll have to put some type of a hole that... Um, we can hang in this on and it just probably would be uh, just a drill hole and then or put, put a screw in there and just hang this on there. So that's easy enough to do. So now you can see where I've got the, the, the two dados and the rabbit. So the right way. So that one goes in. That is the, the bottom. The next one is a little uh, drain area for them. And then the third one up here, again, is that for the, where the camera mounts. And that can just sit up in there, just like that. So that's what the it would look like from the inside. So the, the birds don't have access to this. This is just more protection. And if there's water or whatever, thing, it gives us an easy place for it to just drain out. Um, and then they can't get up into here also because the um, access is right about here. So grab there you can kind of see so there's where that would be you can kind of see how those all line up so let's get it finished put it back together and then uh, we'll throw the camera in. all right there we go that thing is complete so what i'll do is i'm um this opens up our little camera can go into there and then if we need to i'll see if i can do this without dropping something I don't know how well it's going to show up. There you can kind of see down inside there where they've got the holes. And then again, on the this side here has got that little ladder for them to climb up and down. So um, what I do then, I'll uh, actually just, I'm going to throw some footage in here um, of the camera. And uh, there won't be any birds, unfortunately. So. All right, so that's a relatively simple little project to do. Um, could very, like I said earlier, it could be very easily done with just table saw, skill saw, jigsaw, a, a number of things in, in a drill bit. Um, this for me wasn't about, I actually made it more complicated, honestly, um, because I was working on trying to uh, improve my CNC skills and the software and, and that. So, um, yeah, so if somebody really wants, I can, I can put out a DXF file for this. And uh, uh, if there's a request for it, then I, I'll, I'll put up a link to, that somebody can download the DXF file um, if, there, if somebody's really interested. Um, yeah, it's a little Saturday afternoon project here, and uh, it was kind of fun to do. So, I'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time in the shop.